Hi, this is AJ from AJ Gamer Show. Um, today I'm doing a different video because I'll be standing behind the camera, not in front of it, as I usually did. And today we'll be looking at this Transformers. Stuff. Um, it's the Jack Hammer from Wheel Jack. So I can't find Wheel Jack, but anyway, or his sword. So you would put him in there, or just someone in there, and then you can like press this, and it lights up that thing. Don't know how well you can see it, but anyway. And when you, this really has a cool feature because when you move, when you push this button back. These things come out. And you can like flip these around. And that's more of a battle mode. So what I was thinking you could do was have like one guy, maybe two if you put the small guys in there. And then you could have like a guy there, a guy there, a guy um, sitting there. And maybe even over here if they fit. And then you can have some other people like sticking their arm like through there hanging on to the sides. That would be cool. So I got this at, um, I think I got this at, um, think. I'm not really sure, but anyway, I got this from a, um, Comic Con, yeah, I got this from Comic Con, and it, uh, so you can actually stick this gun pretty much anywhere, so you can stick it like, oh, there's just awkward doing it with my right hand, I'm just, there we go. And then you can press this Autobot symbol, and it lights up. You can also stick, like, weapons, like, in here, and press this. That's actually pretty cool. I've seen that before. And then they have, like, a uh, kind of seat, which is pretty cool. I really like that. So you, that you don't have to just stuff your figures in there. Then they have more sockets over here for your guns and things. That's pretty cool. Over, um, over here, you should be able to stick your things in. The only problem is, once I got my thing stuck, and it doesn't fit in anymore, which is kind of a bummer. And so... Really like this. It's a great toy. The only problem is once it gets pretty old and you start putting it, if you put it just in a box like I did, and like so, it or drawers, and then you press that, like one stays at the front. As you can see, it's like not all the way back, and then you just need to do that. But that's okay. These handles, these handles aren't normally like. How they were, you need to flip them back anyway. So, epic toy, see on the side, there's loads of detailing. I really like the nice blue. So, you can stick like weapons in there. It's pretty cool, this toy. Over here, you can stick something. Oh, well, um, there's one thing I want to show all about. Is that on the bottom it is actually kind of detailed as well, and also this isn't a one one thing set. Well, it doesn't come with something else, but it just well, I, n I never knew you could put that there, but it never just um it was never alone. You could always get the drill for the Decepticons, as you can see. This is the Autobots. Put the symbol there. And so, it's a really nice toy. 
My favorite bit of it is probably my uh, well. My favorite road is like that where it spews out. My ship crash. <laughs> and I'm not sliding it like along like this. Well, I am to the side because you, but it has like wheels on the bottom. These red things that I'm touching. Um, that's a really nice detail there. It's kind of like an Optimus um, chest plate, whatever. And. I think you you can put people sitting there. And I think if you had room, you could put some people down there, like that. Hello, this toy got it from Comic Con. Really nice one. From Comic Con, I also got some nice photos, and I got a. Yoda bobblehead from Star Wars if you didn't know. It's cool. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um so that's gonna be the review for this thing. I highly recommend you buy it. It's a really nice toy. And so three, two, one, beep.